Join me as I challenge myself to stick to a daily routine for an entire week. Let's see if I can actually do it. Routines. The very word can be daunting, can't it? We know we're supposed to have one. We know it's good for us. But somehow, it just feels like another thing on our never-ending to-do list. But the truth is, having a routine can be a total game changer. It can boost our productivity, improve our mental well-being, and even give us a sense of control and accomplishment. So why do we struggle with them so much? I think we've all been there. We start strong, determined to finally get our lives together. But before we know it, we're skipping breakfast, hitting the snooze button one too many times, and wondering how we ever thought we could wake up at 5 a.m. every day. The motivation is gone, and we're left feeling like a failure. Or maybe we do manage to stick to our routine for a few days, but then something comes up, and our entire schedule gets thrown out the window. Sound familiar? Maybe you're someone who gets overwhelmed by the idea of having a routine, feeling like you're trapped in a never-ending cycle of sameness. Or perhaps you're the type who gets bored easily, and the thought of doing the same thing every day is just too mundane. Whatever the reason, it's clear that sticking to a routine is not as easy as it seems. So, what's going on here? Why do we struggle so much with routines? Is it because we're just not cut out for this whole adulting thing, or is there something more going on? I think it's a combination of factors, to be honest. For one, stress plays a huge role in our ability to stick to a routine. When we're feeling anxious or overwhelmed, the last thing we want to do is add another thing to our plate. And let's be real, time management is not exactly our strong suit either. We either overestimate how much time we have or underestimate how long something will take, and before we know it, our whole day is thrown off. But I think there's another factor at play here, unrealistic expectations. We see these perfect Instagram routines, with people waking up at 5 a.m., meditating for an hour, and then going for a 10-mile run. And we think, that's what I need to be doing. But the truth is, that's not realistic for most of us. We're not morning people, we're not athletes, and we definitely don't have an hour to spare every morning. So, we set ourselves up for failure from the get-go. Here's the thing, routines don't have to be perfect. In fact, they're supposed to be flexible, adaptable, and tailored to our unique needs and lifestyles. The key is to find a rhythm that works for us, not against us. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in a minute. But first, let me just say that it's okay to struggle with routines. It's okay to not have it all together. And it's definitely okay to make mistakes along the way. So, what's the turning point here? How do we go from struggling to thriving with our routines? For me, it's all about embracing flexibility. It's about recognizing that life is unpredictable, and that things don't always go as planned. It's about being kind to ourselves when we mess up and not giving up. And it's about making small changes, one step at a time. Because let's face it, if we try to overhaul our entire lives in one day, we're going to crash and burn. So, what does this look like in practice? For me, it means setting realistic goals and expectations. It means breaking down big tasks into smaller, manageable chunks. And it means being intentional about how I spend my time. It's not about being perfect, it's about being consistent. And that's where the magic happens. So, to sum it all up, routines are not about being perfect, they're about being intentional. They're about finding a rhythm that works for us, not against us. And they're about making small changes that add up over time. Remember, it's okay to struggle, and it's okay to make mistakes. The key is to be patient, kind, and compassionate with ourselves as we figure things out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've struggled with routines in the past, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And if you're looking for more tips on creating an effective routine, be sure to check out my next video, where I'll be sharing some of my favorite strategies for making routines stick. Until then, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.